Okay, so let us proceed with variables and the types of variables. Okay, from the term itself class, variables are those figures or um, numbers that are varying. Okay, which means nagbabago sila over time. Okay, it could be any figure or maybe it is a characteristic or maybe a number or maybe a quantity that can be measured or counted. Okay, so um, there are three types class of variables in our discussion. We have the independent variable, we have the dependent variable, and the extraneous extraneous variable. Okay, when we say independent, this this um, term or this figure are those that are manipulated in our experiment. Okay, it is somewhat the cause of of our um, study. Okay, so it it is presumed to be the the cause of the observed outcome. So independent variable class. So um, saan siya? Eh, yan yung um, hindi siya nagbabago kahit na magbago man yung yung iba. Okay, yan yung independent variable. Ayan. Now, how about for the dependent? From the term itself, dependent is the the one that is the effect. Okay? Effect of your experiment. Like for example, may binago ka sa independent variable mo. Okay? Halimbawa, um, binago mo yung color, like for example, or the texture. So, ano yung naging effect? So, yung dependent variable mo, yun yung magiging or yun yung um, na observan mo na, na nagbabago. Okay? Like for example, class, in in a plant, for example, you are studying the, the behavior of a plant. Okay? Let's say your plant is st still a seed. Now, um, your independent variable is, let's say, the, the, um, the seed itself. Okay? Now, let's say your dependent variable is, are, are the height of the plant, the, the, um, the fruit, maybe the the outcome, okay, the the flower or the 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 leaves that that it could that could grow from your plant, okay, those are independent, so uh, rather the dependent, so magde depende yung yung growth, yung laki, yung bulaklak ng plant mo sa independent variable mo, okay. So, halimbawa, yung, yung dependent variable mo is too big. Yung independent. So, kung halimbawa, damihan ko yung too big dito. Okay? Ano yung magiging result? Tataba ba yung plant ko? Or mamamatay? Okay? So, yung, yung independent mo, which is your water, kahit anong gawin mo doon, okay, it will affect your dependent variable. So, ganun din class sa, ano, sa study natin. Meron tayong tinatawag na dependent variable at meron din tayong tinatawag na independent variable. Ano naman itong extra news, extra news variable? From the term itself, extra. Okay? Extra lang siya. Which means, siya yung parang ina-add mo lang sa, sa ano mo, sa independent variable mo. To, to produce a desired effect. Okay? Pero hindi talaga siya yung main talaga na, na variable na, na in-observe natin. Somewhat, you just adding it to our variable. Okay? Or, it's defined here as a variable that interferes or interacts with the independent variable. Okay? And, Take note, class, that this extraneous variable validate the results of a test. Okay? Now, um, in under class, the, these variables, we also have the what we call qualitative variable and the quantitative variable. The qualitative, from the term quality, okay, it refers to those variables or figures that changes in the category or it could be a label okay qualitative class are 
something that describes maybe it's a quality or it's may it may be a characteristic of a sample okay qualitative siya while the quantitative is it represents the amount amount or a number okay from the term quantity so number talaga siya unlike sa quality na na it really defines or describe equality now quantitative class can be um categorized to discrete and i am sorry um it could be discrete and continuous okay what's the difference between the two discrete class is are those variables that can be count okay like for example um can you count your age okay age something like that or these are class these are values that assumes fixed or countable values that can be measured okay like for example um yun nga um what what can we say uh, let's say ano natin um number of people ganyan ano pa ba number of students number of animals something like that fixed siya or ma makakaunt mo siya while eto naman na uh, continuous those are non countable variable okay it cannot take finite values like for example class yung height natin di ba our height our weight it continuous as time goes by like for example today we are 40 kilograms so maybe next year it could be that we lose weight or maybe we gain weight Okay? Or maybe in the next 20 years, we may gain a lot of weight or maybe magbago rin yun. So, we don't know. Okay? It, those are things that are considered as continuous. Okay. Now, 